welcome to data structure learning i am k pugarasi assistant professor csc data science department of malanapalli institute of technology and science today uh, in this lecture we will see the introduction about a data structure and its types uh, what the data uh, data structure and its types and uh, how the data structures are used in various uh, applications that we will see today and uh, what is data structure that is a way of organizing the data we have number of data uh, with us a huge uh, numerous amount of data so that should be organized in some way how we are organizing and how can we access that is the data structure it's the, the format of storing data in an organized and efficient way so it not only stores the data in memory but also it maintains the relationship with uh, um, each one another and uh, we know that's the algorithm when the algorithm is uh, combined with the data structure it forms the program the algorithm is the sequence of instructions or step by step procedure to solve a particular uh, problem and to develop that algorithm into a program we should select an appropriate data structure for handling the data associated with that uh, program so therefore the algorithm with the data structure forms the complete program data structures uh, we see it's applied in number of uh, uh, areas such as compiler design operating system database management system network analysis everywhere if we want to manage the data or organize the data we need the data structures we have n number of data structures uh, that are classified into uh, broadly two categories primitive and non primitive data types so primitive data types that you all aware of that uh, these are primary data types example integer real char pointer in a real programming language what are the data types you are using that comes under primitive data types so they are very basic so non primitive that again categorized into two ways that is uh, linear and non linear both are come formed from combining number of primitive data types non primitive means nothing but it's uh, defined using the primitive data structures so primitive data structure it's a uh, more defined at the most primitive level in the computer what the compiler uh, accepts that is the primitive data types that are operating directly on the machine level instructions so our uh, processor should support these data structures and the non primitive data structures are defined using this primitive data structures in linear the arrangement of data in a linear sequence and if it is non linear the arrangement of data will be in a hierarchical order then we will see examples between um, uh, these uh, primitive and non primitive types uh, as i said already the primitive types uh, are built usually built into the language that is uh, if you see language c++ java anything according to that language the data types that are the language is having that are the primitive data structures non primitive data structure will be built on uh, from these prim primitive types linked together in uh, meaningful ways uh, one or more primitive types combined together to form uh, non primitive data structures example uh, linker list binary search tree avl tree graph these are all non primitive types that we will see uh, here and uh, why for dynamic memory allocation we all know that is uh, the memory allocated at run time uh, specifically here i am presenting the dynamic memory allocation why means uh, for implementing data structure concepts we may uh, we have to use these two functions dynamic memory allocation concept is very important in uh, implementing data structures so in the introductory part i just gave uh, Uh, that brief about these two functions mlloc and free mlloc uh, it allocates size uh, mentioned size from the memory to get the size we use the size of operator to determine size of the object and uh, the pointer 
what it returns is void type. So it void that means we can assign to any pointer type. It may be an integer pointer or it may be assigned to float anything. So we'll see the example this new pointer equal to mlog size of struct node. So what this returns is uh, the struct node is a node is the structure the size of structure will be allocated and the address of the node will be stored in this new pointer. So this mlog function allocates memory dynamically and free uh, deallocates memory that is allocated by that mlog function. So for the syntax for this is free of the variable name that we allocated using mlog new pointer. So these two functions we will be using uh, all around for uh, implementing data structure concepts. So just to make aware of this we have seen mlog and free in dynamic memory allocation. So next the main topic important uh, point on data structure the data structure will be defined as an abstract data type. So that is ADT will be coining the term ADT nothing but it's a set of operations and uh, the difference is that in ADT there will be set of operations but there is nowhere in the ADT definition is there any mention of how this set of operations is implemented. How we are implementing is up to us. Uh, example list, stack, graph, tree everything uh, is an ADT uh, and uh, the main common operations that done on ADT is union, intersection, size, complement and find operations are done on ADT and uh, on linear ADTs these are the operations that we see. Uh, traversal just it visits uh, every part of the data structure uh, every part of the data. Search uh, it traverses through the data structure and for finding a given element. Insertion, we can add new elements. Deletion, it removes a particular element from the data structure. Sorting, there is rearranging of elements. Merging, uh, it uh, combines two similar data structures into one. So these are the set of operations that are generally carried on uh, linear ADTs. We will speak specifically for each topic. Um, list ADT is a major uh, among the major types of DS. Uh, we will see some five uh, data structures uh, here. List is a see, linear arrangement of data. Uh, consider if there are n elements, it will be arranged in the form A1, A2, A3, etc. up to An. So the size of list will be n. Okay. So any element if in the position in the list will be defined as i consider if an element is at the position a i its successor will be at a i plus 1 and its predecessor will be at a i minus 1 uh, just linear arrangement of elements. The operations carried out are make empty, is empty, is lost, find, delete. Uh, find previous, insert, delete list, these are the operations and uh, different ways how we are implementing list means we can use arrays or we see the better concept linker list or if the language is not supporting pointer we go for cursor implementation. Cursor implementation implements the linker list notation but without the help of pointers. Then the next data structure uh, following list is stack ADT. Stack ADT is also the collection of elements, uh, arrangement of elements uh, from A1 to N. But the difference is that here we perform uh, operations only at one end. So it works on the principle last in first out. So the element that is inserted uh, last is the first one to be removed. Uh, see the figure uh, all the elements will be inserted uh, like a pile of coins arranged. So it will be kept one on the above. So both push operation means inserting an element to the stack. Pop element operation means deleting an element from the stack. Both carried out on the same point called 
top position so only the element that can be removed is the element that is inserted last here we have number of uh, ways to implement stack we have the array or linker list and then the next uh, ADT is Q ADT uh, it is first works on the principle of first in first out uh, see what comes enters the first is the first to get outside so uh, here example uh, every real life queue real lifetime uh, we are waiting at the ticket counter or we are waiting at a bank counter wherever uh, who comes first will be served first so all works on the concept of queue here the two main operations done are dq and nq uh, dq for performing deletion and nq for inserting an element into the queue and uh, two pointers uh, as in stack we have one pointer called the top but in queue we maintain two pointers this front and rear pointer front pointer uh, manages the dq operation and rear pointer helps for performing nq operation that is adding element to the queue and this queue can also be implemented using either array or linker list the next ADT these uh, list stack queue are all linear data structures Q is a, a non primitive data type. So, non primitive means the elements will be arranged in hierarchical order. Tree is collection of nodes. That collection can be empty. If it is empty, it will be an empty tree. Otherwise, a tree will consist of a dismissed node called uh, R as the root and uh, zero or more non empty subtrees T1, T2, etc. up to Tk. We can have n number of subtrees like this okay and each of these roots are connected to a direct edge from r so see this uh, we have a single root uh, root and with this root number of subtrees t1 t2 t3 etc up to t10 are connected to this root this is the uh, tree data structure and the next uh, data structure is graph edt graph is also a non primitive data type arranged in hierarchical order but the difference from tree to graph is in tree we are maintaining parent child relationship but in graph there is no parent child relationship and this graph is composed of set of vertices and edges v represents the set of vertices see in the example uh, the vertices will be represented as elements rounded with circles so a b c d e are vertices in this corresponding graph and edges are nothing but the line connecting a two vertices will be edge so this line connects a and b so it is an edge a comma d is an edge d comma c is one edge d comma e one edge c comma e is an edge a comma c is an edge and d comma e is an edge so edge is the pair of vertices and today we have seen a brief outline of data structure and its different types in the next lecture we will discuss these different data types and its implementation details in more detail okay thank you